Hi, it's your boy, Big Rich. First of all, I want to say happy birthday to my boy, Mac J. We just did his birthday morning show, and I was drinking a Heineken. That is the first time I've drank beer in the morning in, in, in decades, decades. I mean, what was I thinking, right? So if I sound a little crazy, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? What are you going to do about it, all right? Mom stories. Let's get right down to business. Gambino family odd couple are a B.O.P. Bronx tale. We are not sure what wise guy Nicholas Little Nick Carrazzo said when he saw fellow Gambino mobster Alphonse Truccio a couple weeks ago at the Bronx halfway house where Little Nick's has been residing since June. But we're positive he didn't smile and say, nice to see you, Al. Hope all is well with you these days. If the 79-year-old Carrazzo said anything, well, we're sure it wasn't nice. He may have asked the 42-year-old Truccio about his months-long stay in the hole at Raybrook, an upstate New York federal prison near the Canadian border earlier this year. Or he might have asked him about his long roundabout trip to the Bronx via the federal prison in Mendota, California, where Truccio stopped over for several weeks. Carrazzo got to the Creston Avenue facility after 11 years behind bars straight from the facility in Allenwood, Pennsylvania, according to the borough of prisons database. Knowing little Nick, there's a good chance he didn't utter a word to Truccio. Just told him with his eyes to steer clear of him if he knew what was good for him. Truccio got to the Bronx on August 7th after an eight-year bid. But there's little doubt that little Nick let his brother, wise guy, know his actions toward Carrazzo's brother Joseph were out of line when they were both charged in the same case in the FBI Mafia takedown day arrest of 127 mob co-defendants in 2011. The internal wrangling between Truccio and Jojo Carrazzo flared up in court for all those to see and hear following a pretrial hearing in January of 2012. It happened when Carrazzo's lawyer, son Joseph, and Truccio got into a shouting match. The dispute arose after Al's attorney suggested that Jojo, who had sought a delay while his appeal of the indictment on double jeopardy grounds was pending, proceed to trial along with Truccio in the first of three scheduled trials in the 18th defendant case. Hey, Al, so it's every man for himself now, said lawyer Carrazzo as they all left the courtroom. Why don't you come here and say that in my face, Truccio replied, barely turning his head to address Carrazzo. So I'm not a man now, Carrazzo cracked as the attorneys, prosecutors, agents, defendants, and family members buzzed as they walked toward the elevators. At this time, Carrazzo downplayed the incident as a minor disagreement as to trial strategy. The lawyer declined to discuss the matter with anybody this week. Asked whether his two former clients were getting along in the halfway house, Attorney General McMahon said that he assumed that to be the case I saw Truccio last week, and he didn't mention Mr. Carrazzo. I assume they're getting along just fine. Otherwise, he would have mentioned it. The temporary joint living situation will end by November 29th at the latest when little Nick Carrazzo will max out of his 13 and a half year sentence. More than likely, it'll end before that. So uh, another cool article. Salute to the people over at Gangman. And yeah. This is your boy, Big Rich. Gambino family odd couple are a B.O.P. Bronx tale. Salute. And uh, look out for our new video, all right? Peace.